question is avoiding that's sweeps. Right. Dealing with sweeps. Yeah. Dealing with sweeps. If you were to, if you were to, uh, so go ahead. Oh, you oh, this is phone button. Oh, oh, if you were to uh, uh, yes, uh, sweep someone, you don't want to get to the same, same situation. But the, the very typical judo sweeps uh, or, or throws, either hip throws or, or what they call the, uh, the, re the reaping, like the cut. Okay? If they can cut uh, the heel, they can cut the thigh, they can cut the hip. Yeah, your joints, right? Three. But in order to do that, he has to lower his center of gravity. There's no way you can throw someone if your center of gravity is higher. So you gotta go, all right? Same thing, if you wanna pick someone up. Okay, so pick me up from here. Bird? Right. Okay, so, no, do, do it like a bear hunt thing. Oh, like bird? Right. See how hard it is? But if you can lower, it's okay. Okay? <laughs> so this is very easy. You, your center of gravity has to be lower. So in order to sweep either leg, I have to get like that. Right? So in order to do that, i got to go uh, now. All right? Let's see? Now, it's very dangerous for, for me now. Because he can just, okay, you turn your back. I'm going to just climb on you. Right? Climb on you, because you don't assume the guy doesn't know how to grapple. Right? Judo, the, judo doesn't do that, but grappling does. Yeah. It's just, okay, great, you offer me your back. So the momentary, you just pop on with your back. Then you <laughs> you got his back, okay? But the quickest, the, the, uh, the, the easiest way, the safest way, is to go from either shadow or back. Because now you're, you, you're safe. We're here. See, see now, get, take, see? That's so much easier. You're still safe. And my back is not like this. But if you happen to be put into this position, yes, you can. But we don't want to deliberately offer our back. Right? So from here, I pull that there. Now, now I can sweep. Oh, all right, see? Nice. Or I push. At first, first I pull and then push. Boom! Oh, I get one in my groin. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You, you owe me. I owe you. So that's basically okay. So this type of sweeps are much. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I've been sitting in a while, so I'm not used to it. Uh, five minutes to recover. Yeah, sorry. Right. Edit that. Edit that. No, so there we go. <laughs> Shoot, never hear that. <laughs> Don't play, so, this, don't play this video. Of course, don't worry, she will be interesting. She will not be interesting watching this stuff. So, there are lots of questions. Then, of course, grapplers have. See, this is basically one under, one over. So, you grab in turns, this will be under hook, over hook. But you can also have two, right? Overhook and to underhook because the guy who does this wants to pick you up, yeah, yeah. right, and, and and throw you like this. The person on, on the top can also throw you, right? He he do this, but he does like does this. Oh, oh, now now see that the underhook is is basically neutralized when you do this. Oh wow! See. <laughs> That's what we feel like. I'm yeah. feeling like I'm in a really bear run. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry. So, wow. Just, just do this. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Right right above the elbow. Yeah, it just closes up. What? Do really? It, do it, do it to him to try to so, bear on him, and you do it. So no, 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 no. You bear on him. Let him. Yeah. Right. Go in the road, Yeah. Okay, no. Above, above the elbow. Yeah, above the elbow. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay, you're. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, is that it? Yeah, because you can't get in there and squeeze. It's like a, like a, like the levers, the levers are going like right, right, right. right. So you just go, you just grab, grab the hand and squeeze. Makes your arms open. Right. Squeeze this way, right? Just 
Yeah. So like yeah. that. So it's like, it's like right. impressive. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's like here, it's with one arm, I'm doing this. See? Hold arm, and I'm doing this. Right here. What you are doing is you are bending. Oh. Don't bend, just squeeze. Squeeze this one. Try again. Yeah. So you're under, he's right. over. over. That's yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a different, it's a different oh, wow. thing doing this. Yeah. Wow. This! Yeah. Awesome. Boom. So immediately, you just go, oh! That's this concept. That's this concept right here. You, yeah. you right. Right. I got a different question. Yeah, I'm not sure what the bear put the bear hugs about anywhere. What are you trying to do? Throw them? What's the end result of a bear hug? You trying to get them on the ground? Yeah, dump them? Well, okay. there's many ways. It's not my style. I don't think in those terms. I'm going to get you. Probably do. Right. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. because they don't, they're not tough to, to kick, punch, or kick. So their job is to, to throw you, use the ground against you. Same thing with the mentality of the judo practitioner. They use the ground as your enemy. Oh, they just come in and they just walk. Yeah, they go out like this and they. They can land on you, but you go first. Right. right? They grab right. you and they go over shoulders. Yeah. And now they're on you, and your head is pulling towards concrete. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's one. Another one, you, you can also get into a first thing from here. Now you can do it because now it's trapped. Mm. It sounds are trapped. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So that's the first one. Yeah. Right? right? So you see it. Box on a, <coughs> on a box, the boxes. Grabs will continuously go. This, they have this drill to go in and out, in and out. This, so you're you're out. I go and yeah, they go like this constantly. They go. They will do, do like a like a switch. So this first, right? They do this all the time. Okay. What is that? Well, it's coming from there. See? We have to see the connection rather than, oh, that's, that's a grappler uh, doing overhook or underhook change. Well, we're doing the same thing. Either you're on top or on the bottom. On top is on overhook. On the bottom is underhook. So your arm is either on the bottom or on top. Right? Either this way or this way. Right? Mm -hmm. But naturally, when you go into grappling position, you want to get handles. Right? So handles this, neck, snail. Just like in judo, now watch, you have to see the connection. Neck becomes the towel. Elbow becomes sleeves. Okay? okay? Now, grapplers don't have shirts, uh, geese on. The geese are really heavy duty cotton. Able to withstand tears and pulling and won't rip. But they're slippery, they don't have that. So naturally, they look for handles and necks right there. And the elbow, or artery right here. Okay, so that's why they, they develop these things like arm drag. Like from here, you do arm drag like this. Arm drag. Yeah, see? When you start to see. <laughs> exactly, now you start to see. Oh! What's that? That's the pole form. That's how Wing Chun is, is able to transcend all martial arts. Because everything they're doing is just human movement. By developing and looking deeper into pole form, you start to see, am I pulling or pushing? Right? That's how you're able to do that. So from here, you don't appear. Boom, now you do it. Okay, that's how they do it. Drag, right? Or drag, here, here, drag, hold. Choke. All right, so that's how we are able to see what everybody does. Okay, so did you, did you see the video that I saw? I think I talked about this Thursday. It was a Thursday? Uh, yeah. Yes. I thought, my, you know, I am a person of average intelligence. If I can figure this out, other people would too. Remember I always say that uh, uh, BJJ is Brazilian in China? 
lo and behold, I found a video on YouTube in this particular school. I don't know where it is. They teach Wing Chun and BJJ. Wow. Yes, and, and the guy, it's, it's music, so you can't really hear what he's saying. But he's explaining how Wing Chun principle work on the ground. How Lan Sao works against someone on top of him. Wow. You have so long on your channel? Yeah, I think I, I haven't. Is it the Low Man Cam video? No, no, no. no. These, I are, saw these, these are, I didn't get the These are, no, those, uh, these are, um, um, like, either French or, or oh, some, they're, they're Europeans, I think. Yeah. And I was like, my, to my delight, it's like, God, this is what I've been talking about for years. And yeah. someone, actually, if you want to know something strange, I got a wrestling gear, a grappling gear, yeah. and it's, it says wing jits. Wing Jitsu? Well, it was because my Wing Chun instructor, he got into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu right. and started training with the Machados. So he thought, I'm going to combine these two. I'll show the best of two worlds. And he there called this thing, Other Side Wing Jitsu. Wing Jitsu. So I got a 20 year old gi right now that says, Other Jitsu. Side Wing ah. Jitsu. Ah, man. Ah. <laughs> that is. Yeah. It's like WWE really nice. Oh, I know. It's, it's, it's great. great. It's great. It's great. Yeah. Right. Uh, right here. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll bring this right. Show. Right. Oh, just keep showing. It's all one brother, pointers, and everything. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, this is how you know we are able to tra transcend just mere stand up. Yes. Even going to grappling, sweeping, takedowns. You know, eventually getting to ground fighting. But the ground fighting is vastly different. We're not going for two and a half submission. That's the biggest difference. In in fact, it's an advantage. I'll tell you why. Because when you're on top of someone, you're thinking about submitting him. So, which which is what your uh, BJJ does. They're not punching. They're not thinking about punching him. Mm -hmm. They're not trained to do that unless they're MMA. Okay. So when you go to grapple, he's thinking about submitting. Mm -hmm. So, but you're not thinking about submitting. You're thinking about destruction. Right. It's the best way, you know. So and then um, um, the development of team. Okay, which will be um, when you guys start learning the swords. These are even more evident in how you use a short power. Jing is a short power. It basically, it came from your wrist. You're able to do that. Okay, and if someone is on top of you and he's hosting, all you have to do is destroy that. Destroy that host. The host. You're not using strength to destroy that. So here, just in the journey. All right. So he, he this say he, right here. See that? That's all you need. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm not doing this. That's strength. That's all I'm doing. See it? See how little. Yeah. Put my knee. That's the team. The team. Part of the down one too. Yes. And further enhanced and emphasized in the double sword. So you're able to produce a lot of power without having to swing your arm this way. But everybody does that. Now all of a sudden they feel helpless because they can't swing their arms anymore. But you don't need to. The sword form. Now that I don't know how many people discovered that. Remember, I didn't invent anything. Nothing I say or teach is invented by me. Because these are part of what human bodies can do. Okay? Did they see it? Do they wave their arm like this? Or do they use emphasize the wrist? Okay. Or even what you just showed us with this. So the whole with form the, with the vertical wrist. Introducing my new sword. Yeah, this is like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I figured, you know, after teaching so many years, so many years, that's really not sharp. It just looks sharp. Yeah, it's okay. They don't want to show yeah, they're not sharp. Yeah. All make mistakes. Oh, it's absolutely. So after uh, teaching for so many years, I thought maybe I should reward myself with something that's sweet. that's real. Yeah, that's that's nice. Nice. You know, yeah. So these, um, so uh, that's a lot of people are using training tools. Same thing. Very similar. Okay. Um, so, but before I I um, move on to doing a little bit of demonstration of, as to how the wrists are involved. <coughs> when you buy the swords, now th these are, the blade itself is authentic 
Yu Chun knives. The handle, sorry. The handle should be over here. When yours get here, mm -hmm. bring them and share with everybody. That is the authentic, the original. I'll show you. Still quite strong. Now remember how uh, how the uh, swords uh, were uh, developed by a cook. Hmm. What do Chinese cooks use? Cleavers. Meat cleavers. They're not long swords. They're not like sushi chef. This long. Okay? So if I may use a piece of chalk, okay. I don't know where I can put it. Oh, over here. Now remember, the meat cleaver looks like this. Handles. This is the handle, right? Then you have this. Right? Handle. So, Wing Chun knives, the swords, can evolve out of the chef's cook's um, cleavers. So eventually, the blade would, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, modified. modified. So it comes to, so this is still the, the um, handle and the blade is this way. Okay, so it still looks like the original cleaver, right? Oh, okay. Then you have the, uh, the finger guards and then the hook. Right here. You see? Somehow their saw makers took uh, inspiration from the original butterfly knives, which is in the middle, here. Like a regular sword, you know, regular, like a regular sword, the handle is in the middle. Oh, okay. And it had the bar like this. Okay, so if you can find my, my I let my <laughs> aesthetics got the better of me. <laughs> you know, because all eyes look really pretty. So, you know. Are so those different than ones that you ordered? Yes, the one that he has is like this. Yes. He, he asked me for, for a box saw. Yeah. Gave me the one. Yours is like mine. In the middle. Mm -hmm. Right? I think yeah. so. I yes, it is. it is. So, but this guy got a sweet deal. He went to an estate sale. Oh, got, a, got a pair of oh, brand new. Yeah. For a six box. Them? Yeah. No, it's 35. Oh, you have 35 bucks. How did you know the uh, estate sale? I got them like a year and a half. You, you, you stumbled onto them, right? Yeah, on. it's not like you see where they're like going to be for uh, other yeah, we're things. Yeah, we're just looking at other stuff. Wow. Uh, right. These are what they call chopper, chopper stock. But it, it, it is the original. They're sharp? They're not sharp. No. Okay. No, look, this is the original. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that, okay? But this is the influence of American Bowie knife, okay? Uh, okay. 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 okay? See, see, see how. See how from a static point of view, it's a beautiful sword. Um, mm -hmm. And this is what's called chopper style. Yeah. To chop, chop. Yeah, okay? Like okay. Yeah. Rather than the stabber style, which is what you, uh, you and I got. Yeah, that's what the person I bought it from, she yeah. thought, she was an old lady, she thought they were like training, like chef knives that weren't like sharp. There you go. Yeah, these are no good, they're not sharp. No, what are you doing? I'm just not sharp. We got one of those in the kitchen. Oh, right. 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 Again, there's, there are two schools of thinking. Some flick, because they use this tool. Like a side, is the blunt part. Again, flick. Another school, they don't flip because they, they, they think that if you flip, they can easily be knock off your hand. Okay, the other guy's good at what they do, sword fighting, they can knock. As you're flipping, you're less stable. You know, you're on one finger. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> both schools are right. It depends on. Modern days, you don't really fight with swords. You further in hand to hand. Yeah. You look good. These are really heavy. Yeah. They're yeah. good. Yeah. And mine must get stick. Very heavy. It's on defense. You right. And this, anyway. this is beautiful. Yeah. 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 Box jump go. Right on the box oh. jump go. Right there. Yeah. So it's very cool. Okay, we're ready to box over. I brought over the thing, I'm like, 
can't read Chinese. <laughs> so, so when you you don't when you you uh, you pass the so form, you don't do movements like this. We have to know that this now becomes the tip of the fingers. This becomes the toe. Okay. So when you when they go one, two, three, you think about it. downward, upward, downward, upward motion. Yeah. No, you do that. Yes. Sure. Okay. It's, it's, it's like the opposite of the vertical punch. Basically. Right. Yes. Can you sharpen these? I think you can sharpen any of these, right? Yeah. I think these are, uh, there's a number for the type of steel. These you can sharpen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, what a, what a, that retail probably three hundred bucks. Yes. Is that a train one made of wood or anything? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 80, 80, bucks. Bucks. 80 bucks. I found that. 80 bucks. That's, 80 bucks. that's so right. I saw that. They're, yeah. yeah. And yeah. for $20 more, yeah. you get. No, those, those are, you can, you can fight with them when you train. So you actually, you know, fight each other with the, with the knives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are hardwood. Yeah. Some days, you know, 80 bucks a pair. That's pricey. You know, out of 32. Thirty dollars you can buy a steel one. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> they were trained with uh, students like one pole and then some sort of thing. used to, but I don't think I don't I don't do that anymore because it's not practical. Yeah. yeah. Because now they you don't fire someone with a pole. Right. <laughs> so instead instead you transition that into um, grappling by using his arm. You learn the concepts from the pole. Exactly. You learn how to drop your center of gravity as you pull. So now he's not, he's not doing this, he's doing this. But so many people would think, I don't want to learn the pull because it's ridiculous, because it's not practical, but they're real, not realizing all the things yes. that are involved yeah. in or transcend their standards. Absolutely. Most Wichita schools teach swords and pole um, the way it was intended three or four hundred years ago as weapons against weapons. But in our lineage, we look at them as further enhancing these two forms, further enhance the body. Okay. The, the um, Ba Chang Do developed the Jing, Shou Hao. So if someone's doing this, you don't need to knock like this, you go, this is a bat. <laughs> Right? Right? So it goes down, what comes up? Huh? The throw what comes to you. Right? So, so the here, right? Oh, see what happens, you're right? See? You better go like this. So we have an advantage. We're not thinking about trying to do shoot more or anything like that. Or trying to choke, right? Yeah. We're thinking about just destroy, destroy, destroy. Anything that comes to me, I destroy. Right? Biggest difference. Okay. So, um, and um, remember the line stop. When they pull car, you drop on the end, throw. Sarah lying down. Okay? <laughs> I'm thinking about the construction. So if I'm going down, I'm going to go down like this. Right. They do that in the ring, but in the street, they're going to add Abs on the ball their own game. Absolutely, because right? we're not training for the ring. We're yeah. training for survival. Which means if he's disabled, I survive. Okay. Okay. Very so, cool. today we're going to briefly visit the four corner defense and offense. First, we're going to pull from slow style. Mm -hmm. Then, we're going to evolve into open style. Okay? Please. Right. This be very interesting. Okay. When you go open stuff, the reason we're going to go to the closed style first is because now you, you know the sequence. So when you transfer the same movement into the open, you still know when it's go next. Yeah. You start with, you know, uh, uh, Pan Sao, Pak Sao, Lan Sao, Gan Sao, Fuk Sao. Right? So remember those sequence when you go into uh, the open style, you still need to go, hmm, Tan Sao, oh. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, pops up. Yeah. yeah. I had a couple questions on this because I started working with that last yeah. couple weeks. Yeah. 
so I don't know, maybe, maybe part of it is that there's a couple, it seemed like there's more natural, there was like two back fists that felt very natural from, from lawn to, to that. is that true? <laughs> very good. This is what r and is all about. With you guys, um, foundation, this is what I mean by contrast. You are giving the means and the concepts. The body will provide the answers. Yeah. So yeah. Ma match your answers to mine later on. Okay? okay. All right, very good. All right. There's, an there's another one too. Go ahead. Parts to Fusa, Jamsa, where from the open, the jam Jamsa forward is a little bit. preferred. Right now, I want to do, just do forward a little bit. That way. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mike, why don't you uh, change places with the uh, um, with the uh, <coughs> Marco? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Marco, come up a little bit. There you go. And yeah, now I can see see everybody. Go a bit of a step forward, forward, and more. Good. Very good. Right, just like that. Okay. Okay. Good. All right, first getting to left body stance, and you're going to go close style, close version, okay? I don't remember if you've done that, four corners. Mm -hmm. You have, okay? So let's do, take it slow, okay? Make sure this is the opportunity to remember the sequence. You start with Han Sa, Hai Pa, Lan Sa, Dan Sa, and Fu Sa, okay? Are we darting? No, you just do a stationary, okay? So one one count one com uh, one combination. Okay. So you don't, front yeah. and defense. Front and defense. You don't you don't go through the all five. You do one at a time. Oh, one, okay. two. Okay. So okay. this will give you time to digest and think think forward. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Turn the left hand and, and right hand forward. Very good. Same drill. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. And then left hand forward. So when you're right hand forward, you are you are standing over. Okay. You remember? Yeah. Um, this is probably uh, obviously Fon's favorite stance. He messes. He messes. He does. And to, to okay. clarify, uh -huh. just to get clear, um, before I, when I go into complex, I'm in complex, but now I feel like I want to get that like two, three inches of the hip yeah. so in there with like second form yeah. stuff. Yes, because but otherwise you, your your uh, arm is not short. Yeah, your, your forearm, uh, front arm is short. Yes. Like, so the shoulder should be a little bit. And the hip. And the hip. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Shoulders even, but the hip. So you're short, you're short forward to the hip and forward to get a one. Yeah, run the yeah. Okay? So that's just okay. right now we're just yeah. using the rear of uh, uh, left side forward. Okay? Alright? Left side forward, not back to the right side. Let's oh, just finish the right. Right, so we're right left, right left, okay? Yeah. Do you finish in the up position or you want us to stop and then rotate our hands? You, so when you finish that hand, drop. You can see from one, yeah. two, three, four, five, and rock. Okay? So left side, four. One, two, three, four, five. Just, just drop, spin, to drop your elbow of the, of the attacking arm. Right? So now you're right side, four. One, Two, three, four, five, and left side forward. One, two, three, four, five, right side forward. Okay, your line side needs to go down a little bit. It's not too hot. Okay, physically it's what we've been practicing. Okay? So your line side down here. Okay, so now we're left side. One, two, three, four, five. Right side. One, hands up first. 
two, three, four, five. Very good. Walk forward. Same drill. Oh, I got it. He's good. Good. Start with your front hand. One, two, three, four, five. Drop the elbow. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Drop the elbow with the punching hand. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. One. Hands up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Right hand foot. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. So when you when you do the line stuff, think about think think about the arms coming in. You're doing this because if you don't drop, it still gets. But if you drop, it, it's kind of short because the arm moves in a circular fashion. Okay, so think about push the arm down. Okay, okay. Now go back to right side forward. Memorize sequence for now. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Left side forward. One, two, three, four, five. Right side forward. One, two, three, four, five. Left side forward. One, two, three, four. Five. Very good. Okay. When was the, when was the last time you guys practiced this? I know you did. That's how you came up with that. Brain four four weeks ago. Okay. Good. So <laughs> this is basically what you fight with in the self-defense situation. You're defending someone who's attacking you. You're not attacking you. See, you're defending. You're waiting for him to attack you. Guys. So it's a self-defense rather than fighting. Fighting is, you know, you fight, you go, go battle with him. Okay. All right, so from the um, uh, <coughs> walk back. Okay, now, what we did was we did front hand defense only. Okay, so now we're going to switch it to rear hand defense first. Okay, so from your left fighting stance, you are start with your defending rather than defending with your left hand, defending with your right hand. Okay? It's the same thing. Yeah. Well, the first one is the yeah. Whether you're defending the front hand or the rear, because the guy has two arms. You can go either one. Yeah. So you need to know how to defend with the front hand, defend the rear hand. Because you have practiced this individually already. Remember how many times we've done this? Front hand, rear hand, front hand, rear hand, yeah. front hand, rear hand, right? Yeah. So it's the same thing. Is <laughs> everything we do that is seemingly advanced, quote unquote? Tongue in cheek <laughs> is basically based on the basics. Without the basics, there's no advance. Advance is mere basics in depth. <laughs> okay? Yeah, you don't learn something that you've never done before. Okay? Well, I'm going to show you something, a technique no one ever seen. Impossible. It has to be based on something. <laughs> okay? But a lot of people are drawn to that. Wow, yeah, I know. I want to spend 50 bucks so I can get a manual full of these uh, esoteric techniques that no one else can defend against. Impossible. Denmark size. <laughs> right? And for people who say, I'm going to use Denmark on you, say, go ahead and try because I'm not standing still. Go ahead. <laughs> By the time you get to me, I'm, I'll punch you 10 times already. Okay? So don't bother uh, with those Denmark techniques, okay? Case in point, if you go to an actual puncher, actual punchers, no matter how good he is, he takes his time or she takes his time to put needles into the vital pressure points. Everyone's arms is different. Taller ones, so he can say, okay, sure, I'll go up. So I say, your, your arms are longer, so it needs to be moved up a few inches, right? 
you can't put the same spot in a guy who weighs five feet and a guy who's six feet. So he does, he measures, he's kind of like, there. Do you know how long, how much time is spent trying to find the pressure point? You can do that gently move before me. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to like this song. <laughs> You I can't, want to see you the can't, blood. you can't, someone's your arm is speeding towards you, you can't just push, oh wow, it's impossible, okay, <laughs> even when, <clears throat> when a person is uh, uh, put under and the surgeon cutting him open, even they still make mistakes, even the guy perfectly still, uh, he mad, oops, how many times have you not, know, you know, I mean, I, I, I my dentist's office, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hurt you. Right? It just accidentally nicks you. Okay. Now imagine trying to do that precision pinpoint strike when somebody's speeding at you. Okay. <laughs> so you know, don't you know, waste your time on, on what they call arm body or pressure point. Arm body is useless. Right? If you are always moving, how can he get to you? Forward. The time you train the arm body to work on your forward, be like speed. You can see you, then but not touch you. That's the most important thing. Work on your skill rather than you know trying to arm shirt or golden bell, you know. It's a waste of time. But do this. No. Work on your form while you're doing this. Don't do this. Don't work on your dummy. Yeah, work on your dummy. Kind of work on the heavy bags, you know? Alright. So now remember the, the sequence. Han sa, hai pak sa, lan sa, gan sa, fuk sa. Now we're going to go into open stuff, okay? No, 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 I'm sorry, I was, no, I'm jumping forward. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. Right so we're, we're going to use a real hand now, okay? After the initial, everything else looks the same. Right. Okay? Right? <laughs> All right, because you're constantly switching, okay? Yes. Yeah. So, Start with this rear hand. Let's, let's okay. do the one, two, three, four, two, one, three, four, three, yeah, one, two, two mix four. it up. Yeah, right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Oh, all right. Now you're going to start with your left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Right hand, which is the last, which is the last punch. Ah, it's the last punch. Drop the elbow. Yeah. Okay, so what's up? But I'm on the other. No, that's for all. Okay, let's start over. Okay, let's start over that. Okay. Now remember, the last punch. Yeah. Drop the drop. Last punch. Drop. Yeah. Okay. I think we got to switch. All right. Okay. Ready? Rear hand first. One, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, all right, walk forward. Very good, rear hand, one, you know why? Because you start with the rear hand. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right. Continue. <clears throat> rear hand first. One, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> All right, walk back. Okay, now the next one is you're going to stay whenever you finish. You stay on the left left side forward, okay? But your starting point is different. First, you start in the defect. Then when you come back. You rear hands. So it's like this. I'm staying on the left side. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Left side, right side now. One, two, three, four, five. Left side. So basically, basically you do this: front hand to start, yep. rear hand to start. Mm -hmm. The first one is front hand, mm -hmm. and rear hands. 
Front hand, okay? okay. All right? Front hand. First. One, two, three, four, five. Rear hand start. One, two, three, four, five. Front hand. One, two, three, four, five. Rear hand. One, two, three, four, five. Walk. Um, walk forward. Good. Same drill on this side, starting with the front hand time stop. One, two, three, four, five. Rear hand time stop first. One, two, three, four, five. Front hand time stop. One, two, three, four, five. beautiful knives, sure. go on the uh, website <laughs> everythingwechan.com Knives are up to five, six hundred dollars. <laughs> wow. Are oh, those the ones you said that they um, sharpen and they have like a demo or no. cutting slab? Uh, the, uh, yeah. I think it's everythingwechan.com. I think I've seen that. That's where I got the um, Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, last year. It's like a. How much was shipping on that? Really that heavy. Heavy. It wasn't work. too bad. It was they shipped it in like a PVC pipe. Mm -hmm. Which is a big one. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's eight. Oh well, yeah. It is awesome. yeah, it's it's tapered at the very yeah, end. Yeah, tapered at the end. It's yeah. heavy as all. Well. Yeah. Uh, wow. Just doing that for like three to five minutes. It's like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why when when you're work, when you work the pole yeah. long, you're powerful when it comes to throws. I think that's helped a lot. And not only your arms are powerful, but also the entire body, because uh, if you notice, <coughs> you don't swing, you don't swing your pole like this. <laughs> this is all arm strength, yeah. but instead you listen the biggest engine on the body, which is the abdominal. The hips, okay. The sword, double swords, works on the short, the smallest joints, your wrist. That's how it is, okay. But and the pole form works on the biggest joint, the hips, the biggest, smallest, the biggest. Okay. So the, the so the way you you don't do this. See how nothing. It's all arm. But instead, it's like this, this. It's all from the hips. Okay. So when you turn, when you do turn, when like this, right? It's like this. Yes, yeah. hip. Bruce does that in the movie. Kind of kind of like adds yeah. some right? power to your height when you go to a high horse. Well, right, because the pole, the pole, the pole is heavy. It helps you sink. All right. Yes. So you learn to the hip runs on your arm. So rather trying to, you know, this way, I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, See, my arms hardly move. I'm, I'm using this uh, leverage, but I'm using the hip. It's the same concept. Now the arm becomes the pole. Okay. So simple, yes. Complex. You watch some of these martial arts things on YouTube. And, and they're like, like I said, when they teach techniques, they're just showing these simple motions. But the reason when you do them compared to anyone else, they're so effective when we're getting looked around like a rag doll is because you've got those fundamental principle concepts built in. You just can't learn this motion and really have that same impact. Exactly. Each you can copy someone doing something, but if you if we don't understand the underlying principle, it's, it's not as effective. Yeah. You know, because when you drop it. That's like yeah. leverage. Yeah. You know, you're using this. You know how it's a rock here, and here's a, here's something. You do this yeah. rather than using this to to 
to pick something up, right? If the stone is heavy, you're going to break the whatever you the, the stick you're using. But instead, you put the rock and the big rock and the small rock. Now you can easily oh, yeah. pick that you know pick that up. And now this becomes this. So it's so important to understand the concept. So that's why the the pole emphasize center of gravity high or low. High is this. Low is this. High and low. When you pull, you drop center of gravity. When you push. Right? So if I were to pull, pull, adjust, see? I did not inter interrupt the balance. He just go forth, goes forward. But if I go down, oh, oh, and you see what happened? I said the back, now he goes like this. That's the desired effect. <laughs> because if you just pull me, just, just go up this arm as well. Pull me towards back. See? Nothing. But if you drop this in our ground, <laughs> now I'm fighting not only your, your arm strength, but your body weight as well. Remember, structure, structure. We judge all of our structures. Maintaining our structure, destroying his structure. This is how we bring our poet to, to you. Yeah. Right? If you pull, he's going to fight you. Right? But if you go, boom, oh, what happens? He's out. Two posts become one. Right? He used to have two posts. Yeah. If you pull him, he lost one post. Right? Yeah. So that's, that's how you translate, you know, back and forth between different styles, if you will. Okay? Yeah. Cool. Is it too warm? Should I turn the fan on? It's okay tonight. It's nice. Too nice. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. Questions? You have a pair of swords which I gave you a long time ago, but they're sharp. They're not. Yeah, they're hanging on my desk. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, you can't have a pair of swords. Yeah, you can't have a pair of swords. Those are hard to do a cowboy style. Yeah, those, those, are, those are for burglars when they come in and slice and dice. <laughs> <laughs> I got an OJ and I fight those big ones. Burglars, sushi. Make a sushi out of it. <laughs> okay, so come up again. Good, very good. All right. I want you to stagger a little bit so in the video you can see everything. Okay, everybody can see. Okay, you may see. Oh. Okay, uh, a red, a little forward. Ah, perfect, right there. And uh, uh, Justin, go forward a little bit. Perfect, right there. Okay, so now you're able to see yourself in the, in the video. That's what it's all about. It's so that in case your notes are not complete, my voice is uh, oh. out. They start taking notes. Well, you can refer back to it because this is public. Yeah. You know, you can access to it. And turn out the comment <laughs> so people cannot say and start bad, bad mouth. This video is not for them. Right. <laughs> it's for us. So when they, they can only watch it, but they cannot say anything. <laughs> we're jelly, no, we're jelly. We don't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, right? So he says, Sometimes the, the Republic people starts commenting, oh yeah, but you do this, you do that. Yes, everything you do is a counter. I don't need to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, but for the private lessons, it's private. Between you and you. Know, you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, and uh, we, we, so we'll finally figure it out. It is your account that's the causing the problem, right? Your account with them. Yeah, so you went into I was subscribed, but what I did was I when I signed in, I went into edit my settings, and then from there it said I had no subscriptions. So I went in and resubscribed to the channel, and all of a sudden I got your emails. And yes, and that's the only way you can view privates, right? Is through the email. Yes, okay. yes, yeah. The private is for invitation only. Yeah. So after I uploaded the, the lesson we had last night, I, yeah. I uploaded it, and then I put this. I'm learning too. I'm learning it too. It's, yeah. it's it's kind oh, yeah. of fun, you know, trying to figure it out. I'm, no, no lesson from anybody. I just try to figure it out. 
And then if there's a box, you just type in the email address of the intended viewer. And that's it. The minute you type it in, you saved it, boom. That's why I kept asking that's you. Why you the, the, that's why the links didn't work the first time, right? That's why I was trying to view the private through YouTube. I'm like, is there a setting somewhere where no. once, yeah, there's yeah. no way to do it. No one can see it. Through no one can see it. That's how it works. If it's private, account. no one can see it. Only my invitation. Oh. So that's that's what I was trying to view. Yeah. Yeah. But your yeah. son should yeah. know. He he will, I don't understand this. I go to YouTube. I put an account. That way, put it in. I might put it. When did you come with the I saw all the last of it start just all the pops up. I don't know what the subscribe means. Kind of. Subscribe is when something new is uploaded, to let you know, to notify you. Oh, the you get like an email. Oh, but if I just look it up, it's going to be there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm thinking I'm just The only advantage is when you say, for example, if I upload something new, they'll let you know. Yeah, you, well, you YouTube pops yeah. up right away. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, that's oh, new. Yeah, okay. yeah that's what yeah. comes. So we're going to have to hunt around. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so now I want to go into the open side. Okay. Left side forward. Okay. All right, we're, we're going to take it apart one by one. Okay. It's a totally different experience when you do it open. You're still doing the tan sound, pan sound, lan sound, gan sound, and folk sound. But it's a totally different feel you, you, you get to experience. First, let's from the left side, okay? We're still doing the tan sound. Of course, we're not going to we're doing the words on punch, right? You're still right. Okay? Right. Okay? Right. So we, we do the front hand defense, just like this. Front hand, right? You can't, this, this came from this. Okay? But because this rear hand, your wu sao, from, it's moved from here to here, so the movement gets very small. It's a very small movement now. Rather than a big movement like this, it's very small from here, right? Just, just a little bit, that's it, that's all you need. Here, from here, right? So let's work on just that, repeat, okay? Okay, one, two, lightly clinch, three, we clinch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, very good. All right, let's uh, just kind of hop to the other side and we move our place. Very good. Uh, <clears throat> Right side, your front hand doing the tan sound. Okay, front hand tan sound. One, two, slightly clinch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and hop, very good, right. so even though we're kind of changing sides, we got hop, the application is tremendous, okay, very good, all right, so hop back, very good, so this time we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to use a rear hand to do tan sa, front hand to do a horizontal punch, okay, so rather than this, you're doing this, okay? So rear hand defends in the form of tansa. Front hand holds on a strike. Okay. One, two, three, four, stick it. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. The rear hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Kung Fu. <laughs> Kung Fu K9. <laughs> All 
All right, very good. Now let's go switch before we do doing repeat. Now we're going to switch. Start with the front hand defense. Okay, front hand defense. Followed by rear hand defense, okay? So one count, one, one combination, okay? One, sit. Two, sit. Three, sit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. This time I'm going to start with the rear hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Very good. Move on to the next one, which is hot side strike. Okay. So we're, we're uh, right side forward, okay? We're gonna use the front hand again. Okay, front, you know, remember, you are doing this. Hot side, right? Right? And this one, from here, same thing. Right? Just from horizontal, vertical to horizontal, right here. Slide back, okay? We're gonna repeat, front hand defense. Still lower hands. Yeah, so you're still doing swinging back. With your front hand, you are redirecting. With the rear hand, you are parry. Just like this. Just like this. Okay? So from this, we derive this. From this, we derive this. Now, you feel so liberated. <laughs> okay? Once you get used to it, you feel very liberated. <laughs> yeah. Alright? That's the reason why we practice this way. Now liberation through the liberation. <laughs> okay? So now your right side forward, okay? Front hand, same thing. Like this. One. Okay? Two. Set up again. Three. Set. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop. Very good. Same thing, front hand. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Very good. Rear hand. Rear hand is a parry. See from here? Parry. Parry. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, up. Same thing, rear hand, parry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, rear hand, when you do rear hand, you don't go back. You go to the side, just like this. From here, you simply do this. Okay, so, so he throw the, the rear hand. Boom. From here, I'm doing this. From here, I'm doing this. To the side, rather than this way. Front hand, you throw the front hand. Okay? Rear hand, you can come up to it, just like in the form. The form is low, you go high. Okay, it's this one, of course, is this. Yeah. Okay? All right, so see, everything came from somewhere. Nothing came from nothing. Ooh, that sounds like a song. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of noticed that corkscrew screw technique of coming over. Boy, it does work, so 
ways to pop that arm up and really to block it out. Absolutely. Okay. It's a lot of force. So for those um, critics who say Wing Chun doesn't punch this way, he must have missed his first fall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he must have missed the first fall. <laughs> exactly. Okay. The first form is like this. Right? She's showing you the rotation in a horizontal way. Right? Right? So what we derive from that is this. Uppercut. Horizontal punch right there. Okay? And they even have that in the form. Okay. So again, this is the trouble. The problem. Yeah. Here's a problem. If, if you don't think about yin and yang, then you don't see this. See? This is palm facing up. This is palm facing down. Again, no, 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 that's a few stop. Hello, Yimi Yang said, if you can open your hand, you can close. Well, one difference to the horizontal punch you each other, we are striking with these three knuckles, not the two. No, we're striking with everything, not just focus here. If you only focus, focus here, your, your, your wrist becomes very unstable. Does it matter for us to focus on these three knuckles? Yeah? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> not just these. Right. Not just these three. You, you, want, you want to make sure that it's very stable. Okay. Because if you try to do a, a knuckle push up this way, only on these two, you, you injure your wrist very easily. You want to rest all of them, not just focus on them. Traditionally, when they punch like this, you do these two. Right. 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 Use everything. So when you land, then you flush. But because this is smaller, <laughs> yeah, because this one's smaller, you will miss that most likely. But you don't intentionally focus on these three. Yeah. Because if you intentionally focus on these three, then you do the you see? Yeah. You tend to do that. Even from like from a like my perspective, wrist alignment is the factor. Because if, if it's slightly off and you hit something hard, you're more likely to fracture up. Yeah, yeah. rupture ligaments. Well, do it this way. Just hold out your hand, okay? Now turn turn it so that these three knuckles pointing at your target. Oh, you feel it? You, did you feel it yeah. right here? You feel the pressure right here now. Because you're trying to align. If you just do it naturally, there's no pressure right here. That's what you want to avoid, is that pressure. Except when vertically, it works. Vertically is different. Yeah, because these yeah. two bones are not crossing. Right, yeah, they're lined up. They're lined up. Like, like, like a ladder. Right. You go this way, and they, they cross the lower uh, bones. Right. Yes. Now, this is just yellow. If I like do vertical, uh, Look no, what happened to my wrist. Immediately come like that. So you, right? So you don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. Unless you are doing open hand, which is the chin like this. Okay. And uh, let me borrow our conversation from from yesterday. Hold your roof. Everybody saw the movie um, Enter the Dragon, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember Jim Kelly? Jim yeah. Kelly? Yeah. Okay. He was this good look, handsome looking black guy with a oh, sure, 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 sure. right. afro. Okay. Well, oh, well, like long. Right. Now, he was doing what the style called Soldier Roo. I'm saying he's doing this. He's using the palm and the back. Oh, that's from the first form. Oh, that's from the first form. <laughs> you see how powerful Wing is? Yeah, it's in the Polynesian martial arts too. Lima Lama. Yeah. But I think, but then it goes side to side. Absolutely. <laughs> if you can do vertical, you can do horizontal. Just cutting lines. That's what's going on. You vertical up, vertical down, and then to sideways. Still using this part and this part. So that's what the jaw. Yes. Gojo. Excuse me. Could be Ryu rather than Ryu. Okay. Okay. That means hard, soft, stop. Hard is the punching and kicking. Soft is this. The very small, minute movements. That's what it's all about. 
Right? Again, the symbol was not introduced. So they memorize by techniques. Now these movements are soft. Yeah. Okay? And these movements are hard, that's all. So you collect the techniques again. So we say if you can do it soft, you can do it hard. If you can do it close this, you can do it open hand. So this becomes this. And this becomes this. It's, they're all in the form. Right? So next time I say, we don't punch like that, so then what is this? Well, that's a few some, see? Technique. That's a beauty. It can never be anything else. What is the closest this? Well, that's something else. That's correct. So if you say people have transcended and, and, and understand the form even better than the original person and develop it, then that, that is you think she even you know, imagines the way you look at the I don't think so. That far, so. She has several advantages. But she laid the seeds to this. Point. Absolutely. That's what she we, gets all the credit. She gets all the credit. Yeah. She does she may not understand what we're talking about right now because it's different times. Three hundred years ago, she probably never saw Warner. This is like we're catching up. It's probably just been transcendent to It's transcendent. It's, yeah. My teacher just remember, always remember, Wing Chun is a living, breathing organism. It's always evolving. If you're artificially trying to keep it from evolving, then you're doing a great disservice to the nun. Because over 300 years ago, people look at that, what is that? It was a hybrid style that has all these other elements in there. So it was beyond its time, way ahead of its time, even back then. Okay? So all these movements that she developed, we said, hey, you can do this as you know circular crawl fighting, but you can always come, also convert that into grappling. But I bet you she never thought about that. She never thought about that. Oh, that's a leg, double leg takedown. Right? But it doesn't matter. She laid this, she planted the seeds for us to see. You gotta see dimensionally. From striking, blocking, throwing, kicking, choking, point of views. Not just from pure punching and kicking. Right? So we see this hmm, circle. Right? When you see this, what else can I do other than line saw? So you start examining. Remember the thing that I planted is, is joints? Or what are you looking at? Are you looking at here, here, here? Or, or on the outside? Here, here, here. That is the dimensional thinking that I encourage you to develop. So when someone shows you something, don't just say, oh, that needs to be done open handed. What if I pull my fist? Oh, now you have two. Oh, what if I focus not on the fist, but focus on my elbow as three? What if I focus on my, my inside of my elbow as four? Because you, you can do an uppercut with your elbow. Absolutely. Well, how many times have you, you know, so for example, you can lock with the elbow, outside elbow. You can also lock with the inside elbow. Right? See, inside elbow, see? That's an elbow. <laughs> this is an elbow. But most people only think that this is the elbow. This is the knee. This is the knee, too. The back of the knee. Back of the elbow. It's still an elbow. Right? Okay? So, if you can, if you, can you know, collapse this way, you can collapse this way. See how easy it is to upset someone's balance? That's the power of concepts. And then you say, oh, I see that in, in other styles. Of course. They're using the same physical movements that we body is capable of. That's all. But the advantage we have, we see beyond the obvious. We, we see the surface, then we start thinking. What else can it do for me? It's more greedy. We don't want to collect a hundred techniques. We just want ten, but each one develops into a hundred. Okay? Right. So, oh, okay, now we lock, lock with my hand, my elbow. Oh, also can lock with my shoulder. Right? Hand, elbow. So we start, see, just going up and down the joints. 
right? Good job. Okay. It's all recorded, so. <laughs> it's all recorded, so. It's all recorded, so. It's all recorded, so. Okay, let's go to one, two, three, four. Okay, one hundred is from one. Yeah. Okay, let me go another one. Ah, oh, another hundred. Yeah. I only need four. I have four hundred already. How many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> right? so, see, but you always know how to change, evolve. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Mm -hmm. All right. From the rear hand blue section. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so make sure your say we're in left fighting stance, right? <clears throat> right? Again, right? Right? <clears throat> so right here, parry is a last last ditch effort. That's right here. Front hand is redirecting. It takes an existing uh, energy and redirects it to the side. The pox out is like this. Okay? All right, so when you use the rear hand, you do this. Rather than, if you notice the hands beyond your face, beyond your cheek, you're doing this backwards. Backwards is reserved for front hand. Front hand. Okay? And make sure when you punch, you don't turn the hand too early. Just like you don't turn the hand too early this way. You lose that gene at the end. So you want to like just before you extend it, that's when you do it. Same thing from here. See? You don't want to turn too soon. You want to turn it just before you hit the target. That keeps that drive. Right. <laughs> right. So the um, um, one punch can be done vertically and horizontally. Right. See? Vertically, right? Right? Or it's the same thing. Okay? Worse, did it hurt the side? Uh, Actually, this one... That more. one felt a little deeper. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Remember, you are liberated. When you go here, you're liberated. <laughs> you know, I felt like that would be more shoulder. Yeah, it's more of a drill like this. Yeah, it's super it's, Yeah, it's a corkscrew thing. No power. The other one's more like jackhammer. Yeah, They're this battery. Battery. Yeah. See, it's a different feel. You can please, you know, so you don't have to like do this. You can just right here, boom. There you go. That's the power. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one inch punch. Again, people would say that's here. That's blasphemy. You know, we don't do one one inch punch that way. Whatever. <laughs> 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 you know, it doesn't matter. Okay. So be mindful of your rear hand. Make sure it's sideways. Okay. Good. Good, perfect. Um, perfect. All right, ready? Rear hand defense pops up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you're 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 doing angular, which means your your punch still comes towards the center. The difference between see this, okay? So if I'm here, if I'm here, you know, I throw from here, see, I miss. Mm. It still needs to come forth, so it's angular. Okay? If you do it straight, it'd be like this. Oh I see. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoulder, yeah. yeah. So you're you're doing yeah, exactly. We still punch ourselves. In absolutely, right. absolutely. Right. Right. Go off like your house. Right. Yes, you can do pizza. Yes, you can do pizza. But see, you shifted. It's different now. If I just do straight from here, see, that's a straight line. Angular line is this. See, it's a difference. Right here, straight line. Angular line. It needs to do this. So the triangle stays. Sorry, that's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, All right. Hop to the other side. Hop to the other side. Very good. Very good. Same thing. Uh, rear hand. Okay. Rear hand pops out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Feel the torque at the end of your uh, stretch. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Looking good. Walk back. 
Good. Now we're going to do switch. Start with the front hand, which is coming back to redirect, and then rear hand to do parry. Okay. One. Rear hand. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Up. Front hand first. One. Front hand first. Cross out backwards. Okay. And two. Sideways. Three. Backwards. Four. Sideways. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Up. Okay, I want to scale it down to four counts only because I want to finish the rest of it. Okay. Rather than doing ten, just do four. The rest is up to you. Okay. To the left and forward. Next one, we're going to go into line style. Okay? Okay. Line style. In the form, you're going to go into back fist. Okay, remember? Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So from here, see your, your hands always point to the target. Right? Because the hands are open. If you won't, if you, if you feel you're doing this, then this hand came in. Mm -hmm. First. If, you, if your arms clash like this, it means this arm went in. Mm -hmm. Whenever you and your opponent are doing the open style, both arms should line up. Mm -hmm. okay? This arm lines up with this one. And this arm lines up with this one. He, he should feel the same way. They don't. We do. We should see this direct line like this. Okay? The best way to prevent him from attacking me is to control the attack at the same time. Put him always in the a failing or defensive mode. He has to defend. Which means another one. Right? Yin and Yang. Palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down, palm up. Okay? You can be nice, just kind of slap me a little bit. You can be mean, you can break something. You are knocking down the throat. Right? So it can be boom, boom. You can be nice. You want to break something, boom, boom. You want to be mean, boom, boom, right? And you pull him guys to come in. So, into the <laughs> We want the quick solution, resolution, right? So again, these are run through your mind immediately. Oh, yeah, I picked up three techniques. <laughs> okay? That's what they'll teach you. Three different techniques. Okay. All right. That's what's nice about the, the long side comes so complex and goes right. Okay? Right. And when we put it together, you see it. Yeah. You see it. Plus. Okay. So as you can see, those things that I, the bread prompts that I put down all the way, and now it's, it's really coming together. Coming <laughs> together. Okay? All right. Very good. So. We're doing the front hand, which is this, okay? Now you know, see, that's how needs to be hot. Right? Yes. If you're hot, if it's too hot, basically you push his hand down. Okay, so repeat, front hand, uh, line side, one. So you need to do complex, okay? Like throwing your hip out. Two, three, four, okay? Up. The other side, same thing. One, two, three, four. Very good. Hop back. Okay, rear hand. Same thing. One. Same thing. Just, oh, yeah. It's okay. Let's hop. Right. Face me, please. So from here, front hand, right? Rear hand, when he punches. Front hand, rear hand, that's it, that's what we're doing, okay, <laughs> yeah. right? And in the vertical, it's slightly forward, right? Right, because it's low, Yeah. so you right can see the, the evolution. When you're here, right, unless the guy's doing exactly what you're doing, if he's on here, how am I going to, that's inefficient. I'm going out of my way to capture this hand. 
Okay? You won't see that on any image. <laughs> right? You, you, you won't. You won't see that. Okay? So, <clears throat> the funny thing is when you see those, when Chum versus karate, when Chum versus Taekwondo, immediately go into the stance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when Chum, oh, is that really? Come on, bring it on. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm whatever you want me to be. <laughs> you know, I can be whatever I want to be. You know, you want to kick, let's kick. Right. right? All right, so rear hand, left side, okay? So if you just come down, you think about that in invisible hand coming in. Yes. Okay? Right. And all you're doing is knock it down. You're not trying to ca capture it. Because you are trapping it momentarily. You're thinking about going onto that jump board into the pool. You're not gonna weigh it down. We go. So his arm becomes a jump board. Yeah, it needs to be it needs to be like this. Rather than right? So you're doing that. Okay? You're just interrupting so he doesn't get you. That's all. Okay? Continue please. Let's do two more. Rear hand. Three. Back this. Four. Oh, back forward lock up. Back this. Okay, from here, see? That's the whip. You have that torque. You have the torque. Right, yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay, alright. Hop. Rear hand. Line south. One. Two. Three. Four. Very good. Hop. And the next one, Gansa. Same thing, Gansa. Back fist. Back fist, okay? You Gansa. Front hand defense, rear hand. Think, think about your, your fist is the end of the whip. That whip. Relax until just before you straighten it out, okay? Like that medieval mace. <laughs> that ball and chain with spikes on the ball. Okay? Right? Yeah, so like that. All right? Okay. Front hand, right? Front hand is Gansa, rear hand back fist. One, two, three, four, and hop. Front hand Gansa, rear hand back fist. One, two, yes, three, four. Yeah. Stand fully on yeah. one side. Okay, uh, hop. Very good. So we're going to do switch, okay? Front hand, from left side. Front hand, re rear hand. Front hand, rear hand. Okay? One, front hand. Two, rear hand. Three, front hand. Four, rear hand. Hop. Front hand first. One, front hand. Rear hand. Front hand, rear hand, up. Next, last one. Fooks up. Repeat the front hand. Fooks up. One, two. It's a very little movement. All you're doing is this. Mm -hmm. From relaxation to tension. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Because you really, ha you already have the gap. The buffer zone right here. Right? All you do is tense up as you come up. Oh, I'm yeah. Okay. So you just relax, right? That's all you need. Just here. Tense. Tense. Yeah. What you don't want to do is like a boxer, you bring it in. You bring it in like this. That's contraction. You say you want to expand. Okay? Because when you expand, now you have you expose his weakness. So if I do this. But this is what happens, see? This is, this is... But if you collapse, if you collapse, it collapse. Oh, oh right, right. Like this. Like the bottom that no, there's no gap. How are you going to just attack me again? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's true. You're, you're yeah, trapping yourself. Exactly. So the, the difference between boxing, which is a sport, 
and in general, which is a fight, fighting art, is that we we always have a plan B. We just say, okay, survive this. Now, try to survive the next one. Try to survive the next one. No, we survive an attack. So we're always thinking, I want a gap so I can attack back. Right? So he, he throws a hook. He throws a hook. Yeah. Okay, now, now how am I going to try to wedge myself into that? Right? If I go, I have all this, all this room to maneuver. So yes, he's like your own gate. Right. So well, that one moment when he failed, no man's land. No one's guarding the basket. Right. But if he's close to you, then you have to open it up, which gives him an opportunity. For us, if he close up and I throw up, so he close it up. Oh, oh, great! I'm just going to take it. Oh, it's a good little into it. Right. See, like this. Well, see now, thank you. Now I have, <laughs> I I opened it up. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hopefully, hopefully it makes sense. Yeah, you just made the world yeah. even farther today. No. Oh my no, God! I was from here across the country, not the world. No, no. You don't think about it as a uh, as a journey, but think about it as 